Hello, my dear good friend and a fellow believer. I thank God for your life and that of your family and friends. I'm glad we are meeting here once again on this platform, Wake Up to Hope. This is where God has given us opportunity to meet with you and always to discuss or to dive into the Word of God, to learn more about our faith and our relationship with God so that we can grow as we prepare ourselves for the second advent of Jesus Christ. Beloved, it is important to know that as a Christian, you must always be on the watch to continue building your most holy faith. Make sure that you do not give in to all kinds of things that are going on around in the world, but stick to the word because that is where God is found. And I believe you will be blessed as you continue in this. In this episode, we are looking at the purpose of his incarnation, the purpose of Christ's incarnation. And I want to read from John chapter number one, verse 14, to explain the word incarnation. In John chapter number one, verse 14, from the NLT version of the Bible, it says, So the word became human and made his home amongst us. He was full of unfailing love and for full and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. So the word incarnation simply means that Jesus, who was the word, came into this world as a human. So he was transitioned from his word nature into a human nature. That is the incarnation of Christ. And we want to know why that happened. Because for the one who existed as the word, coming into this world to be a human means a lot to us. And it's because God wants to achieve something. Because it takes a lot for God to go through that process. We all know what it took God for him to become human. And it is one thing to express how much God loves us and care for us and how God wants to redeem and to bring us back to himself. So we want to learn five things that the incarnation of Christ has brought to us. Number one, he came from his word nature into our woman nature, you know, to do the will of the father, to do the will of, that is number one thing he came into, into this world to do the will of the father. In other words, to come so that we will learn from his example. There is a way God wants us to live. God wants us to live by his will. But from Adam till today, man couldn't do that. Until Christ came in to show us what the will of the Father is and how to live to accomplish that. Because we were made for his glory. We were made to honor God. So he came so that he would do the will of the Father for us to learn from his example. Number two, to show us the Father. No one has seen the Father before. So he came as a full expression of the nature of the Father. The Father is a spirit. And even for us to be able to relate to him well, he came as a form of human. So everything that Jesus came to do and to say, it's all about the Father. So Jesus one time said to the disciples, seeing me is seeing the Father. So he came to show us the Father in his incarnation. Three, to be like us. Because we needed somebody who to, you know, express life in the way and manner we will understand it in our context. And Jesus came to be with us, to be like us, so that we will learn from him. So that we can relate to him at our level that, oh, one of us is able to do this then it is possible for us to do that. Through the process and the means he did it, we will also be able to do the same. The Holy Spirit that helped Jesus to live, to honor God, is the same spirit given to us. Number four, to understand our weaknesses. Yes, we need somebody who understands our situation. So God sent the word into the world as a human in the person of Jesus to come and experience our weaknesses. He didn't want to experience as God, but as human so that he will know how we feel and be able to save us and save us well. And then number five, to teach us humility and obedience. It's very important. It means to teach us humility means that not to use advantages, you know, to destroy people, but to use advantages to serve others' interests. Like he came as God, he came into this world as human and he used all the advantages he had you know, to save mankind. 
and also to obey the Father. This is how we need to live our lives as believers. And this is what we need to learn from the incarnation of Christ. So remember these five things. That to do the will of the Father, to show us the Father, to be like us, to understand our weaknesses, and to teach us humility and obedience. May God bless you this week as we learn through the week about the purpose of Christ's incarnation. I believe it will be a blessing to you and the people you will share this video with. And I pray that God's peace will be with you. May the Lord help you in all that you do. May the Lord continue to build you up, especially in this season where we are celebrating and commemorating the birth of Christ. May the fullness of it be your portion. And may God continue to advance your cause. May Christ be reenacted in your life. And may you see the light that those that Jesus was born saw in Jesus' name. Amen.